This will be the most awesome first day ever! Thanks for everything, guys. This place is so gonna rock, especially with Bunny Boo's scorching tunes! rain. Well, I can think of one where it really rained. Oh no! My paper palm trees are going to wilt in the rain! All this work going down the drain, not to mention my outfit, my hair, my mascara! What are we gonna do? Cab jungle? We'll travel. But you know, one of my favorite parties of all was our sleepover. What's this, Angel? Oh, those are my costumes. Just in case I need something last minute, but not last year. Coolness! That'll work. Rocking a sleepover activity number seven. The runway strut. Cause we're the girls with a passion for... Fashion! <laughs> Darling! Pretty princess gone wild! Rockin'! People, a star is Zoomporn! Jag, the prez of Jaguar Models, caught a Rock Angels video, and he signed me on to be America's Next Supermodel! Yeah! As I was saying, I so blew him away at our meeting today. Wait, you met with him today? How come you didn't say anything? I didn't want to jinx it. But we always tell each other everything. Not always, pretty princess. Remember our trip to London? The tickets are gone! Pretty princess, why didn't you want to tell us? <sighs> oh, cool cat. I was afraid to let you guys and the magazine down. Yasmin, tickets or no tickets, we still love you. And the time we played Truth or Dare? Okay, Chloe, Truth or Dare? If we were in a burning building and you could only rescue one of us, who would it be? Uh, there's no way I'm gonna answer that. Buddy Boo, you still could have told us about your meeting with Jaguar Models. Look, I, I didn't want anyone to know if I didn't make the cut. Of course, Jag recognized my star quality the minute I strutted through that door. Newsflash, everyone gets rejected sometimes. Spare me your excuses, you are fired, hear me? Fired! And not only will you never, ever work at this magazine again, you will never, ever work at any magazine. Am I making myself quite clear? You are fired for life. In fact, even your children and your grandchildren are So over. Including you, Sasha. Remember that dance contest with Fiona? And it could have been worse. You could have lost to Dylan. Dylan. Okay, now can we move on? Slam it. Now about the decorations for Yaz's birthday party. <laughs> hey, super scorching idea here. 
let's combine your birthday party with my going away party. Going away party? Didn't I tell you? I'm out of here in a week. I'm moving to the modeling capital of the world. New York City. New, New York, York City? City? New York City? getting me a tutor. Fine, what about the magazine? Is Jag getting us a new music editor? What's with you guys? You could at least try to hide your jealousy and pretend to be psyched. We're not jealous. Yo, Sasha here. Excuse me? Uh, supermodels do not fly business class. Now, I'm not gonna demand a private jet, but I think Jag could at least spring for first class. If you're done with your travel arrangements, we've got a party to plan. Hey, do I look like I have time to plan stuff? I've got a zillion things to do before I go. Later. So did you guys like know that I listen to the radio all day and I'm really smart, you know, and I even speak French? Well, well, if it isn't Jade and her little band of fashion faux pas. Faux pas, parlez-vous français? Perfectamente. And I like work, like, really, really well with others. Right. Talk to me. I do not like being called a loser. You're not a loser. You're seeking advice to improve your life. So, like, what's your problem? Well, no one likes me. Loser! Loser, loser! Don't you dare hang up on him. Quit it! You'll break it! Cry baby loser, loser! This is not cool! Um, Kirsty, why are you telling us all this? Because when we were like listening into your conversa- I mean, I like heard through the grapevine that Sasha's like leaving and you're looking for a new music editor and I'm available. I mean, depending on how much you're gonna pay me. After all the rotten stuff you guys have done to us? Like what? Well, like the time Sasha lost her voice right before she was gonna interview Alonce? I am not stressing! I got it all under control, so why would I be stressing? I know what I'm... Uh-oh. You can't talk? Oh, look, Sasha knows how to make salt water. She's like so talented. <laughs> like, why don't you flavor it with some pus from Casey's pimple? Uncool! Or the time you stole our backstage passes to the Say the Universe concert. <gasps> Ooh, this jacket is like so cute! Ew, put it down! It's got Bratz cooties! Bingo! Our lives are, like, so not over. We're, We're going, going to live! live. <laughs> Ew! Not cool! And the many, many times you've snooped on us or just been totally obnoxious. Maybe they're right. I'm nothing but one big fashion don't. Jade, how's it going? Totally terrible, Angel. Bertine is so mean. She hates me, and guess who I have to work with? The Tweevils. Wow, that's really awful, but try to hang in there. This is your dream, remember? Yeah, you're right. This is my dream. You're such a good friend, Angel. Thanks. No problem, cool cat. I'll check in with you later, okay? Oh, Bertine is so mean. Kirstie and Casey are so nasty wasty. Bye, Kirsty.
Kirsty's right about one thing. We have to get a new music editor, like yesterday. But who could possibly replace our buddy, Boo? We'll never find anyone with one-tenth of Sasha's rockin' leadership skills. We got less than four hours to put together a slammin' song and convince that bouncer that we're the real thing. Four hours? We'll never make it. Music is my thing, and I know how to make it happen. Here's the plan. I'll work out the moves. Jade, you're in charge of wardrobe. On it. Chloe and Yasmin, you write the song. Awesome! Rock it! Or one-tenth of her ability to score sold-out tickets, celebrity interviews, limos, and even office space. Hey, guys. This is it. Get ready to feast your eyes on the most totally slamming loft in all downtown. Sasha, you can't be serious. Okay, so the place needs a little makeover. Okay, a serious makeover. <sighs> this place is so beyond help. Yo, Drama Mama, snap out of it. We survived seventh grade, we can survive this. A little Primo and paint. Relocate a few shells. Dramatize the area over here. Set up a computer bank. And girlfriend? We're happening! Let's hit it! have her awesome musical talent. Man, I didn't know you guys could play guitars like that. There's a lot of things you don't know about us. Yeah, Sasha here. See you in a few. Our limo is waiting. Limo! We just can't do all of Sasha's magazine work by ourselves and forget about finding time to throw a going away party and a birthday party. I don't want a party, Angel, not with Bunny Boo moving away. Pretty princess, don't say that. Bunny Boo, I'm so glad you're here. We so desperately need your help. And I so need your help. Uh, which headshot's the most styling? Sasha! Fine, don't help. We've got more important things to do than help you pick out a photo. We have a magazine to run, you know. Here's my party list, and don't skip anyone. No one's gonna wanna miss saying goodbye to America's next top model. Will you, like, hire us? Have you totally lost it? Actually, maybe we'll hire you, but first you have to prove yourselves. Run every errand on this list, and perhaps we'll consider you for music editor. Nita! Oh, how could Sasha just desert us like this? After all we've been through together. You know, I always thought we'd be together till we were old and gray. But like when we're 30? But I guess not. But pretty princess, at least we'll always have memories. Yeah, the good times. Wait a sec, are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? I am so thinking what you're thinking. You're kidding, right? No way kidding. Let's start, start our own fashion magazine! <laughs> <laughs> wow, check out the view. Forget the view. Let's scoop this style and city. Yes, London, here we come.
that was great. But it's also getting through the challenge of life that makes you a stronger person. The hard times. It's so unfair. All my hopes and dreams destroyed in three hours. Don't worry, Cool Cat. Everything will work out. You have way too much talent not to make it. Jade, you're a fashion superhero. Berdine's the one who's majorly clueless, not you. You guys really think so? Totally. totally. We've gotten into the craziest situations, but we always knew how to get a good laugh out of it. The silly times. Shh. Did you hear that? A thief or oh, so much worse. A total psychopath could be picking the lock and breaking in. I haven't done everything I want to do with my life. I still have articles to write and clothes to buy and boys to kiss. I'm too young to die at the monstrous hands of an ice-blooded, cold-hearted killer. Guys, chill. It's just a facial mask. <sighs> I knew that. It's all natural. Eggs, oatmeal, and anchovies. Ew! Ew. Pretty princess, you are so weird. Things will never be the same without Bunny Boo. You mean the old Bunny Boo, the one who really cared about her friends, not just herself. Oh well, as long as she's happy, I guess. won't be the same. I'm so gonna miss Angel's scorching energy and Cool Cat's fashion-forward style. <laughs> you can't make Sasha's going away party either? Right, party escapes. Don't worry, Chloe. We're not going to need any decorations. Sasha's friends are blowing her off for some party escapes. But what about your party, pretty princess? I told you I don't want one, Angel. No way can I celebrate when one of my BFFs is leaving for good. We're back! We got your CDs right here! Hey, where are the CDs that were on the list? That list was, like, so long, so I just brought some from home. But I... Uh, uh, Get out! Get out! Get out! Oh my gosh, this is going to be the worst party on the planet in all of history and beyond! Our reputations are so over and we'll have to shut down the mag not just because we can't do it without Sasha, but because everyone will know we're the total losers who threw that really reeking party! Dylan, you've got to help us! <laughs> not when there's a rockin' party escapes to go to. You guys wanna come? We can't! Oh, what else could go wrong? Oh, hi, Sasha. What? No way we can change it to tomorrow night. Wait, don't hang up! Jag is taking Sasha to some movie premiere so she can't make the party tonight. How could she do this to us? Later. Uh-huh, got it. I don't think so. At this point, I'm used to doing it alone. Later. So forget about her. Come to Scapes with me. Where are the lights? Where is everyone? Surprise! Happy birthday, Yasmin! Happy birthday, princess! Happy birthday, pretty princess! Oh my gosh! Sasha! What? How? But what? Oh, Bunny Boo! You didn't blow us off! Oh, Bunny Boo! You did all this for me? Look, I finally thought everything through, and you know what? Fame and fortune can wait. Right now, I'm just not ready to leave my BFFs. Oh, Bunny Boo, this is the best birthday present ever! Hey, what are friends for? So everyone forgive me for acting like such a freak in the last few days? Of, of course. course. <laughs> okay, call me crazy, but I just couldn't leave my BFFs. Not now, anyway. And our readers related, making my article, Model Friendships, a runway up, uh, runaway hit. The saga of the girls with a passion for fashion continues. Wow, check out our...
our fan mail. Most of it's for you, cool cat. Must have been that cover story I did on extreme street fashions. Get real. Like, who would ever wear those weirdo clothes? Your fashion sense, like, so stinks. A baby's diaper smells better? <gasps> you are, like, such a fashion freak? Get yourself a circus job? My readers hate me! Wait! Cool Cat! Bunny Boo, there is something seriously suspicious about these letters. <laughs> I am such a loser! Maybe I should just quit the magazine. No way, Cool Cat. We couldn't do Bratz without you. If you left, we'd have to shut down forever, and everyone at school would have to read your thing magazine, and their brains would rot, and Queen Berdine would rule the world. What a nightmare. Look, before you do anything totally crazy, come with me to see a psychic. What good would that do? A lot. She'll predict your future, and then you'll know you have nothing to worry about. Come on, what do you have to lose? Well, okay. Hmm, a psychic. The future is looking very pink. What brings you here today? I'm freaking out about my future. Perfection. Let me take a little pixie wixie inside my crystal ball. <gasps> Mother of Crystal? Do you have three friends who work with you at some sort of uh, publication? Yes. Horror of horrors! <gasps> you must leave the magazine immediately or your friends will be... <gasps> my friends will be what? Doomed! And it will all be our fault. Jade, wait! Come back! Out of my way, you rotten little brat! What did you tell my friend? The truth, now scram! Berdeen! Oh my gosh, I've got to find Jade! Jade! Jade, can you hear me? Where are you? Jade! Jade, wait up! Jade, look out! Jade! Jade, oh my gosh, wake up! Cool Cat, can you hear me? Wake up! Oh, please wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! This is Georgie Johnson reporting live from the Stylesville Mall. Maniacal magazine mogul Bertine Maxwell has just launched another assault, attacking innocent victims with her specially formulated brain-reducing pink spray of doom. Taking over the world is like so much fun! Yeah, it's like even better than recess. I hope you peons like your smoothies pink. <laughs> pink, 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 pink. And it's another stunning victory for Bertine Maxwell. <laughs> but wait, the brat Stylesville's very own fashion superheroes have come to save the day. <gasps> Party's over, Bertine. Oh, but I'm just starting to have fun. <gasps> Try this! It's a free sample! <laughs> <gasps> Cover your faces, people! Don't let her turn us into pink zombies! At last! This mall is mine! <laughs> Today the juice bar, tomorrow the world! <laughs> Bertine Maxwell has once again trounced the brats in a stunning defeat! <laughs> Girls, do you have anything to say? <laughs> Jade, wherever you are, we need you! <laughs> oh no, my worst nightmare has actually come true. will be unstoppable. <laughs> uh, 
Perfection! My diabolical potion is ready. A potion so ghastly, so evil, that no one will ever dare stand in my way again. I bet it, like, makes you all bloaty. Hello? What? Bratz Magazine is still outselling your thing? Please don't hurt me! That settles it. We must destroy those belligerent brats and their miserable little magazine once and for all. Brats, it's time for you to go to that big catwalk in the sky. We'll never beat Bradeen without Jade. Our only hope is to get her back here. It's not happening, pretty princess. Cool Cat is gone. Uh oh, it's the emergency hotline. I'll put it on video phone. Girls, Mayor Tashi here. Code Red, I mean Code Pink, emergency. Bradeen's attacking Styles High. We need your help immediately. People, like it or not, it's styling time. the last of the elusive youth market. All that stands between me and world domination are those three wretched brats, who should be flying in any second now to protect their precious school. Give it up, Bardeen! Ah! Quick! Deploy mega missiles! From down. You insipid little brats think you can destroy me? Well, think again. I don't think the brats will be able to take this. Hold on, people.
Verdine is totally going to pay for this. It's Queen Verdine to you. Girls, what do you say? We need to be the brats. What do you think of that? Yes. It's finally over for you ratty little brats. The reign of pink has begun, and Your Thing magazine will rule once again. The girls with a passion for fashion are about as over as the hoop skirt. Dream on, Verdine. <laughs> and now you will be the first to sample the most potent of my life-destroying potions, Agent Rosé. Mother of Pink! My potion was supposed to destroy, not disfigure. Hey, Kirsty, what are we like doing over there? Oh my gosh, we've been tweevoized! Citizens of Stylesville, Birdine Maxwell has captured the brats and is conquering the rest of the free world as I speak. Long live the Queen! Long live Birdine! Long live the Queen! Jade, where are you? Self-expression and freedom of choice have been outlawed. Birdine now controls everything, even the food supply. That's right, Tubbo. No more carbs for you or anyone else. From now on, you eat what I eat and you do what I tell you. For I am Verdine Maxwell, the founder, president, editor in chief of Your Thing magazine. And now, once again, your reigning queen of fashion. Long live the queen! Yeah! my first decree, I am ordering you all to wear pink. And everyone must carry a copy of Your Thing magazine with them at all times. Your Thing? My teenage daughter says that magazine reeks. Stop it, Tubbo! Long live the queen! Long live the queen! Long live the queen! Long live the queen! Long live the queen. Please join me later today for my special press conference in which I will be announcing the demise of the Brats. to know you won't be around for the return of shoulder pads. Hmm? <laughs> hey, if I have to go around looking like a Tweevil, then taking a swim in boiling oil suddenly doesn't seem so bad. Tell me about it. I'll never be able to look in a mirror again. But think what it will do to our complexion. You've done some low things, Berdine, but this time you've outdone even yourself. Flattery is not going to save you. I'm so glad Jade's been spared this. Well, at least she had the good sense to desert you rodeo clowns. She left the magazine because of that hate mail the Tweevil sent and your phony psychic prediction. Mm, the perfect plan which is coming to fruition now that I am sending you despicable brats to your untimely deaths. <laughs> Excuse me? Death? I think I'm going to have an extreme teen drama queen moment here. Our lives are like so over! Ah! <laughs> All my fault. I never should have left the magazine of my friends. 
How can I ever forgive myself? Jade! I'm stoked to see you. I've been looking everywhere for you. What's happening? It's like Verdina's taken over the whole city. Where are the brats? They're in serious danger. burdine has got them held up at the pet food factory. You gotta rescue them before it's too late. Come with me, Cameron. I don't think I can do it. I can't. My lack of superpowers will only hold you back. Besides, you're a fashion superhero. Correction. Was a fashion superhero. Not true. You've just gotta believe in yourself again. Their lives and the fate of the world depend on it. You're right. It's styling time. <laughs> Wish me luck, Cameron. Jade, may the passion for fashion be with you. Hanging from a rafter above a boiling cauldron of pink oil is so not what I wanted to do tonight. Where have you two bozos been? It's time to make Brett's dip. Lower the ropes. Uh, Kirsty, Casey, I wouldn't do that if I were you. You'll get rope warts. Yeah! Don't listen to them. Lower them, lower them! <laughs> Royale is waiting for his brat's puppy chow. Now, chop, chop. Not so fast, losers! Jay! Who? Oh, what? No, Cool Cat, it's, it's us! You gotta believe it! Verdine turned us into Tweedles! Mother of Pink, get her! Cool Cat, watch out! Uh. Cool Cat, watch your back! You will never defeat me, you freak of fashion! Bring it on, Verdine! Oh! Okay, bird butt, kiss my feet! Oh, eat, ah. <laughs> Caught him! Royale's going Tweetball. <gasps> you wouldn't dare watch me. <laughs> Yo, Cool Cat, watch it! Ugh. Do you hear me? Mother of Pink! My power! It's gone! One last thing, Bird Butt. I have a little present for you. Voila! <gasps> Carbs! Are you trying to make me fat? You get the idea. Now eat up, or it's Tweevil time for you. Chop, chop! Mother of Pink! Do you know who I am? I am Boudin <coughs> Maxwell, the founder, the president, editor-in-chief of your thing, magazine, and the reigning queen of fashion. Okay? I think so. Ouch. We 
can explain everything. It all started out with the Tweevils, who we found out wrote those nasty letters, and then Verdine pretended to be a psychic, and then... You can explain later, Angel. Right now, we've got a magazine to put out. And so, my contribution to this month's issue of Bratz Magazine was a radical departure from my style and fashion scoops. My article, What Your Dreams Reveal About You, became the cover story. And you know what? Our readers loved it. Dear Jane, your articles rock. You are my fashion superhero. Thanks, everyone. I love you, too. And may the passion for fashion always be with you. 